Hi everybody, got a great tune for you today, but before we get going, I just wanted to mention I have this tune, just the tunes, um, 26 tunes, not that you can read the titles of those tunes, but there's 26 tunes on this album, and it's all tunes that are on this YouTube site, so if you're interested in hearing what these things sound like um, with a band, that's great, and the band is me. Um, it's not anybody else, just me. But at any rate, um, it's nice to be able to hear what they sound like, you know, in a band situation. So there's that. That's available if you want to get in touch with me. Um, it's twelve fifty uh, through PayPal. Um, you know, you just give, do a PayPal thing, and and um, and we'll get it out to you. Anyway, um, I have. Let's see. All my music is on ReverbNation.com. ReverbNation forward slash Chris Carney. You find all my music there. If, you, if you're interested in listening to this, a couple of different albums. Um, and uh, I do have a Patreon site if you feel like donating or anything. Patreon.com forward slash Chris Kearney. And okay, let's do the tune. This is called Bull of the Woods. Bull of the Woods, excuse me. Bull of the Woods, right? Okay, there's the sheet music. I'm going to put it away. <laughs> but... This is another great source of tunes, if you can read music. There, there's just gobs and gobs of tunes out there. Um, but if you want to learn by ear, here's another source. Say this is a super easy tune because one of the things it, it, the the melody itself doesn't really lend itself to calls and answers per se like the same amount of beats for the call is the same amount of beats and the same amount of notes and stuff for the answer it's a little different than that so I'm just gonna kind of go through it really slowly piece by piece it starts off with a G scale right up to the D Now, here I'm using my second finger and my third finger both down on the strings. My third finger's down on the on the D note, if you can see that. Okay, well, it's, you know, it's the D note. And my second finger's hitting up the, on the G. Because what you gotta do, you have to come right back to that D note on your third finger. There's no sense in taking it off the string and then putting it back because you can easily put it back in the wrong place. There's no frets here to, to look at. So leave your third finger. Okay, so that's the whole mm, first call. The second call Excuse me, the answer. <laughs> okay, so the first one you go right up the G scale. The second time you go to do that, the, the answer is you hold on, you hold on to that G, and then just go up to C. Like that, and then you get up on your E string. 
and then your B, D, uh, D, B, excuse me, D, B, then you start it again. So let's, I'm just going to go through that much. Okay, then you do that same call again. And then you have a little kind of a hanging tag, what I like to call it, that goes. It's kind of odd, but when you hear the tune, it seems to fit. So let's do that second call and sort of tag. Okay, all of it up to that point. You can start off on the open. Okay, so that's the first time through the A, the A part. Second time through is almost identical. Right here, instead of using that you use an F sharp, and then it goes down to the, the G, the ending of the tag, or the ending of the, of the A part, basically. So, the whole thing. double stop that's even better so that's the whole a part that part isn't particularly tricky um, the B part goes starts like this okay so these two those are just pickup notes Okay, so we're going up the G scale again. Skip the F sharp. Go up to the G and the B. Okay, so the beginning or the, the call of the B part. The answer. Double sharp, that uh, double sharp, she's double stop. That sounds really cool, but the important note is the C note. Okay, that's the that's the other important note, or the most important note. So, okay. The answer. The continuation of that. Whew, 
a lot of notes to for one little section, but that's the way it's got to be. Starts on your E, that this little part, first finger in a D string. Oops. And then the last bit of it is. song for double stops. This is one of my favorite kinds of songs because it utilizes all four strings, standard tuning, and I just I really like it when tunes do that. They just use all four strings. It sounds great. Okay, so the B part, I'm going to just do the whole thing nice and slow. <laughs> Not like that. That's the whole tune. Now, obviously, you can pause and, and go back and listen to all this kind of stuff over and over again. I'm going to play it through once, kind of slowly, so hopefully, um, with all your work, you can get this and play it along with me here. Okay, Bull of the Woods. twice. I'm gonna just do it once. You do that twice. Then you go into the B part. One more time. 
Okay, Bull of the Woods, thank you so much, and I will see you next time. I'm going to reach over here and grab this thing and turn it off.